Okay, so let's ask the question, why do I focus on the lessons and not the text? Is there a reason for that in A Course in Miracles? Well, yes. Um, I got kidney failure. I had a near-death spiritual experience. I was mystically led to meet a man in America. His name was Dr. David R. Hawkins, who was a Course in Miracles teacher. And uh, obviously, I was in absolute agony. I had kidney failure, gout, asthma. I was uh, severely suffering from a lot of illnesses and addictions. I was in hell, basically. And uh, at the age of 30, you know, my body was in a very bad condition. So when, um, and I knew Hawkins, I'd had started having spiritual experiences with Hawkins. I knew he was the real deal. And when he said he, he did the Course in Miracles, the lessons only, he didn't bother with the reading the text, and that the students uh, that were doing the Course in Miracles with him, all their illnesses, he was doing an attitudinal healing center, and they had cancer, they had AIDS, and as they were doing the lessons in A Course in Miracles, all their illnesses were vanishing. And he let go of 23 illnesses during the lessons in A Course in Miracles, and all these other people were having, you know, life-threatening illnesses vanish. And it was through doing the lessons, not reading the text. So obviously, I'm in absolute agony and pain. I want to be happy, joyous, and free as quickly as possible. If if um, if doing the lessons, 100% commitment, can get me free of my kidney failure and my gout, my extreme pain and suffering the fastest, I'm not going to bother reading the, the text. I'm going to start hammering those lessons every day. I want to be free of suffering as quickly as possible. I haven't got time to waste uh, just reading stuff. I'm not interested in reading and understanding. I want to be free as possible. I always had this thing with The Course in Miracles um, and Hawkins and my other teacher, and my um, non-duality observer teacher, which was that they both were like, do the practice, don't read, don't intellectualize. There's nothing there. I don't want to read hundreds of books and understand everything. I want to do those activities which uh, dis dissolve the ego as fast as possible, the actions, the most painful things. My ego loves reading books, but it doesn't get any benefit from that. You know, doing a lesson, doing a prayer, going through the pain, uh, that's where I get the maximum growth. And I want to be free. I want to be free. So reading, reading books for me is like, I don't associate that with becoming free quickly. I, I associate that with just intellectual knowledge so the ego can escape doing the hard work of if I know something that will get me free then I need to do that I don't need to read another book and find another way um, uh, and I'm, I'm very lucky I don't have that thing many spiritual seekers are just going to guru after guru book after book and they don't uh, stay with one course and apply it until they're, they're free they just want to go to the next book and the next teacher uh, after a short period. And I am very, very lucky that I had such profound spiritual experiences with my teachers that I knew they told the truth. And I knew that I just need to follow the instruction. And I don't need to read any more books. I just need to apply, uh, keep applying the simple things they told me to do until everything is finished. So the answer to the question, why do I do the lessons is because I know that it's the application of the practice, which is hard, which gets freedom the fastest. And reading a book is usually, a, reading another book or trying to understand something intellectually is a very, very slow way, and usually of a way of the ego avoiding doing the hard spiritual work. And especially going from teacher to teacher and book to book. If you know one teacher is telling you the truth and they're giving you a pathway that leads to the truth, then there's no point to read another book and another teacher. And then absolutely, why? Why? The only reason I would go to another teacher, another book, if I know the one I've got is already good enough or the best, would be an ego distraction. I'd, I really don't want to be free and do the work.